Hoping I would find true love along the broken road But I got lost a time or two Wiped my brow, kept pushing through I couldn't see how every song put it straight to you And every long ball street Led me to where you are And others who broke my heart They were like northern stars Pointing me on my way Into your loving arms This much you know is true That God bless the broken road And led me straight to you I think about the years I spent Just passing through I'd like to take the time I lost And give it back to you you just smiled and said my hand You've been there, you understand It's all part of this grander plan That is coming through And every long long stream And led me to where you are And others who broke my heart They were like northern stars Pointing me on my way Into your loving arms This much you know is true That God bless the broken road And let me straight to you Welcome to the celebration of la love and life of Daniel Oyen Bok and Evangeline by our calder, beloved. We are gathered together on this special occasion with thanksgiving for God's good gift of marriage. And we come to recognize the marriage vows that the, the two of you will be making later. And we come to ask God's blessing on their marriage as we look to the future. Holy matrimony was instituted by God. 
and is regulated by His commandments and was blessed by our Lord Jesus Christ. So it should be held in honor among all people. Let us therefore remember that God has established and set apart marriage for the welfare and happiness of the human family. Therefore, our Lord has declared that the man will leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. In the New Testament, our Lord has instructed those who intermarry to cherish a mutual esteem and love, to cherish and to share each other's infirmities and weaknesses, to comfort each other in sickness, trouble, and sorrow, and to provide for each other, to pray for and encourage each other, and to live together, together as heirs of the grace of life. Let me read to you a portion of the scriptures from Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 to 12. Two people are better than one because they can reap more benefit from their labor. For if they fall, one will help his companion up. But pity the person who falls down and has no one to help him up. Furthermore, if two lie down together, they can keep warm. But how can one person keep warm by himself? Although an assailant may overpower one person, two can withstand him. Moreover, a three-stranded cord is not quickly broken. Also in Ephesians chapter 5, reading from verses 22 to 30, Wives, submit to your husband as to the Lord, because the husband is the head of the wife, as also Christ is the head of the church, he himself being the savior of the body. But as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her, to sanctify her by cleansing her with the washing of the water by the word, so that he may present the church to himself as glorious, not having a stain or wrinkle or any such blemish, but holy and blameless. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. For no one has ever hated his own body, but he feeds it and takes care of it, just as Christ also does the church, for we are members of his body. For this reason, the man will leave his father and mother from all the way from America and will be joined here in but really, and the two shall become one flesh. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for blessing this ceremony. And I pray, God, that your Holy Spirit will be here, present, bringing us joy in guiding us. That in the name of Jesus Christ, as we ask your blessing to be poured upon this couple who will be joining their hearts together, I pray that you are going to, even let your love overflow and the joy will op overflow over here because we acknowledge your presence giving us the blessing even today we ask this in the name of jesus christ our creator and redeemer amen and amen you will be seated and at last pastor dan at last this you have this you have the big day ready and you have all the world to to shout out that uh, god is good as, as I've told you, this is the best lockdown of your life because you've, you've been locked down with your best person beside you. And uh, you, during this time, you become positive with a pandemic love. <laughs> this is not just a local love <laughs> because local love can also be enjoyed with people of the same community, but all the way from from U.S., you come over here and uh, um, be joined together with Evangeline. This is a big day, and wedding day is a day of blessing. This is a day day of blessing, uh, especially your wedding because you are blessed with few people only. <laughs> Not many people can come, <laughs> only the important ones. 
Because we are, you, you are the important people who will know and understand what we are doing here. Okay, so uh, somehow bad things can also serve good. There are also bitter things in, in, bad, in bad situations. As long as God is there, He, he, can, he can turn bad to, to, to be beneficial for us. And wedding is a day of blessing. This is not a day of torment. <laughs> this is supposed to be joyful. This is a day of blessing because this is today that we will you will receive God's blessing. Now you were you, you were talking that you would have it rather on a civil wedding, but you decided to have it as a, a church wedding. This this is good because uh wedding ceremony is a is a, not only biblical but this is this is spiritual. This is not just religious practice, religi- religious right, but this is spiritual. Can you can, can you imagine how, how how in our human mind can you imagine two different people be joined together for a lifetime? No one can understand that. There's no book who can who can who can uh, give us the the uh, formula on how it is done. How it is done. One plus one is two, but here one plus one is one. <laughs> You, you will have all your mathematics and your, all your algebras and all this. And it's, it is different. The world says that uh, uh, if you are hurt, go and hurt him also. But in the Bible, you have to forgive each other. You have to accept each other. So there are, there are people who said that love is blind and lovers cannot see. So uh, if... If it is true that love is bra- blind, you, 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 you are in a disaster. Because you marry a Filipina. But no, lo- love is not blind. If people would say love is blind and uh, people who get in love are not saying anything, but it is wrong. But I believe in the Bible, in the Word of God, love is not blind. If lovers cannot see, there are there are things that you see in her that it is motivating you to even love her even more. And likewise also, vice versa. So for me, love is not blind. Love sees more. It is just like God. When the Bible said, First John 4, 8, God is love. It is not just an emotion or a feeling of God. That is love. It is His nature. Love is a nature of God. Not only that He is present everywhere, not only that He is powerful all the time, but He is loving all the time. It is His nature. So, when, when you know that you, you are fallen, that, 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 that you are in love already, you just receive the, the portion of the nature of God. Can you imagine? This is miracle. The portion of God is now inside of you. The nature of God is now inside of you, and that is love. And do you know how God loves? He loved the word that whosoever will, and He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever will believe in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. So, if God is love, is in nature of God. Is God blind? No, He sees everything. Even, even the very hidden thing and even anything that is not being conceived yet in our hearts and, and, and mind, God knows it. So He is not blind. It is all exposed in His eyes. And He is love. So love sees more. And because it sees more, it is willing to see less. When Jesus, when God sees us from heaven, He sees everything. How, how bad we are, the sins, and how, how sins are piling up against us. But he is not concentrating on that. He sees more, but he is willing to see less. Your soul that needs God. Your soul that needs forgiveness. Your soul that needs eternal life in heaven. He sees less. He did not capitalize our mistakes because we all do have mistakes. And we 
fall short of the glory of God. So, um, you just love each other. Are you? And this is a mystery. Can, can you understand? Love is accepting each other. Accepting the best and the worst and all the in-between. That is love. So, so, now, if you love each other, therefore, you are guilty of a life imprisonment. <laughs> Reclusion perpetua. <laughs> because you are loving each other. You, you will be knit together as one because of that love. So, that's why you come here to ask that blessing from the Lord, the source of love. For Him to bless us, the minister is here to bless you. It could have been in Chateau de Busay. Um, in, uh, the, the first date was June 25 and it was being moved to July 3. And the virus knows your heart already. Nagdali ang virus. So, and, 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 it's, and it's here. And, it's here. And, and, and this is a joyful thing. You have the un most unique story of your, of your wedding. You can have plenty of story, stories to tell. And finally, we have, we have done it in... I do not know if this is, this is what you want. But we are here already. Yeah. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not used of getting up very early. But this is a very strong woman. He said, Pastor, you should be here tomorrow. <laughs> and then he said, she said in the text, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then when I was preparing the certificate, is, is this 2 o'clock or 10 o'clock? And she said, 10 o'clock. Oh my God. I have to. It's a very early. But this is for you. I am now ready to release your, the blessing, the ministerial pastoral blessing for you. And you have all your, your sponsors here and you have your parents here. They are here not just for them to be seen and their good looks. But they are here carrying that, that load of blessing and anointing from the Lord and they will unload that to you. Are you, are you ready for that? The, this is not just for a month. This, this is not just for, for years. But it's for a lifetime. So you can most likely imagine the level and the amount of blessing that you'll be receiving. Now I will, very quick, I will give you three three principles in marriage. I've been married for 31 years. And I think I can have something to, to say. And I've been seeing marriages also. Uh, marriages that are, that are uh, being successful and some that are marriages that are become failure. But uh, we, it, it, is, it is a blessing that we are believers, that we have God who can, who, can, who can turn to. But marriage is not just all spiritual. Marriage is not just a spiritual thing. It is physical, material, and all those. All those. You, can, you, can, you can have and witness the real battle in life at home. Because in your workplace, you can, you, can, you can just wear your face mask and you'll be covered by a better picture of you. But deep inside, it, it's different. Okay? But at home, you cannot, you cannot wear your mask. You cannot masquerade as the who's who. It should be the, it should be the real you. When we, when we talk with friends, even if we do not like that friends, we, we smile and we are good. We, we, we are actors, you know. <laughs> but at home, if you are angry, you blow it up. So marriage is not just a spiritual thing that you will be united as one. But there are also social, socio-emotional, there are also financial, physical aspects that we have to understand. But we need to understand these general principles in marriage Married is not a do it. It is, it is an, it's not a solo. It is a do it. That's why you need to be intertwined to one another in 
the body and soul and spirit. And it can be done if Christ is at the center of that relationship. Because um, in the Bible, when God uh, discovered Adam to be alone, Carabaos uh, have their own peers, you know, flies have their own peers, ducks and all those mosquitoes, they, 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 they fly and walk by twos, male and female. But when, they, when, when God looked look at Adam, he is alone. He doesn't have any, anyone with him except the animal. So he put Adam in a deep sleep. And he brought Adam from America here in the Philippines. And when Adam woke up, it, it, there is a beautiful girl inside her. So I don't know if, if you are still sleeping or you are wide awake. <laughs> Okay, so it is a do it now that you have to do away your being single, your own world. You have to share your world already to the person that you are sharing your hearts with. And another one, marriage is partnership. It is not a tag war. As a person, we have some kind of weaknesses. And strength we have our strong points we have the best of us and we also have our frailties but it is never a tug of war ah, I'm, 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 I'm good I'm better than you so you should follow me but the Bible said to create order the Bible said man should be the head of the family what is God's intention intention for that not that the men are are doing all the 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 words and the, the and the and the shouting and the yelling at home and the, all those correction. No, when God said the husband should be the head of the family, you want to be the pastor of that family. You have to bring that your wife and your future children more closer to the Lord. You have to bring your family, your friends, more closer to the Lord. Here in the Philippines, we, 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 we call the husband in, in, in Spanish. I don't know if you, if you are familiar. Padre. Padre de familia. Oh, father of the family. What, 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 what Padre do is the, the, the fathers are the one preaching in the church. They're giving the word. They're teaching. And husbands are the Padre. So we are the fathers. We are the preachers. But because we are not using the Padre, we, we are using pastor. So you become no pastor. You, you, you are a pastor of a church, but now you have a new congregation. <laughs> and it's your wife. And some pastor would say that it would take like eight people. For a Filipino congregation, it would eight, take eight people for a pastor. Eight members for a pastor to resign the church. If he has hundreds of people, but if it, it takes only eight people who will say against the pastor, and then the pastor will resign. But one pastor said, when I was teaching, he said, no, it will not take eight people. It will take only one, and that is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> this is partnership. Not only that you are partners as husband and wife, you become partners in the ministry. Not only here, but wherever God would lead you, whatever God will be, will be, will be uh, allowing you to enjoy His blessing, it will be to both of you. So you need a communication. Communication is not just talking because talking nowadays become later on uh, uh, talking communication is, is becoming limited because we have to cover our mouth and you, 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 and you will not be heard and be understood and if, if you do that in your home you cover always your face maybe that will be a, a cause of your conflict also because you will not be understanding each other but communication is not just it's not just a word communication. It's not just verbal. It is communication can be transmitted uh, by waves, by signals, by 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 sign, by object, and you can communicate without using any word. So in marriage, communication is very important, not just words. Now in studies, in research, men we are capable of speaking at least ten thousand words a day. How will you use? 
how will you use that 10,000 words a day? Is that building your family up? Is that building its other up? Is that building, valuing a person or devaluing? Is that building a person or destroying the person? You think about 100,000 words a day. So yesterday you just, you just, you just spoke in your, your 10,000. But with woman, are, are you ready? Women are capable of speaking at least 25,000 a day. What are you doing with that 5,000? So normally, normally women are, they, they start pre preaching early in the morning. They are the person who first to rise up and they are the, the person who also uh, late to, to go to bed. But we are accountable. The Bible said we are accountable on every word that we say. So use all the blessings that God is giving you. The words, the actions, it will be for helping each other. You have to communicate. Now, when I study communication, not, not, not is a, a verbal communication. But uh, uh, communication is two-way. There is a uh, sending source and there is a receiving end. It's like a text. You, you send, you, then somebody receive, then you reply. And it completes the, the cycle of communication. Now, but there are two important uh, things in communication that we have to understand. And that is dialogue and discussion. Dialogue and discussion can, 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 be, can be made through uh, words or action or anything. You can, you, you can, you can dialogue. But the, there are largely differences with the two. Discussion is the language of the mind while dialogue is the language of the heart. When you start, uh, when you start courting or you start courting... Uh, you start quoting her. What, what did you use? The head or the heart? <laughs> what did you use? It should be the heart. When, when you said yes to him, what did you, what did you use? The, the heart or the mind? The heart. Now, women would, would, would tend to say, I will think it over. But when they said, I will think it over, actually, they're, they're not using their head. They're listening the the you know, um, kilig the kilig if there is a kilig moment there if there is a a pumping of the heart the spark the spark of the heart it is then that the, you 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 can say that you are that you are you have the emotion already because love is not just a deep emotional feeling it is a decision it is a choice now emotion is in is Involved in, in love, but it is not all emotion. Because when you start the relationship, it, it's, it's almost all emotion. His emotional touching of the hands, is, there is a spark already, there is just a firework going on when you start, when you hold the hands, and when you look to, in this other's eye, there is a fireworks going on for an hour because you are staring at each other in the eye for an hour. And the emotion is very high. But those who are married 31 years, 40 years, how, how, about, how about touching the hands? Is still... Na, na pa ba'y kilig ang hikap-hikap sa kamot? Na pa ba? Mura na lang, parihan na lang nag-gunit o baso, no? nag-gunit o kaldero, nag-gunit o gluwag, parihan na lang ang emotion. <laughs> now you are laughing. <laughs> but would you say that love is not there? No. You still love. You still love. And the, the, actually the love there grows. From an emotion to a, to a commitment that whatever will happen, this is my man. Whatever will happen, COVID or, COVID or <laughs> pandemic or what, this is my woman. It is a decision. Now, when God loves us, it is. It was his decision to come. He did not say that, hey, 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 people, do you want me to come? No. Uh, if there are 100 people who will receive me, I will come and die on the cross. No, he did not say that. He came. It is a decision because God is love. So love is a decision. It is a choice. 
adjustment, difficult adjustment will come later after the after the um, the honeymoon period. After the honeymoon period, adjustment, the reality would come. Because conflict is real. <laughs> Struggle is real. So you have to work it. Discussion is destructive while dialogue is constructive. How will you use your at least 25,000 and all those materials that you can use to communicate? Discussion is debate while dialogue is conversation. Discussion is selfish while dialogue is selfless. Less of self. Discussion is prompted by pride while discussion is prompted by love. Now you start your relation off with love. What will break your relationship? Pride. And pride come in a very small thing. Water, a glass of water, something like that. Not answering phone, uh, uh, refrigerator that, 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 are, that, that, that is not being closed, conflict with lights that are being, that are not being torn, that, that are not torn off. So, small things. But remember, you are not one. It is, this is a partnership. Partner to build your relation up. Partner to solve your problem. There are problems. There will be plenty of problems. Especially you. Even in marriage, with Filipino marriage, they grow up, they, 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 they become child, child sweethearts. They grow up together they, 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 in the same community, most likely the same norms and influence and, and environment, the same environment, but still when they get married, they still, they still quarrel, and they still, they still conflict, they still separate. So, I can only imagine if God is not there at the center of that relationship, you would fail. But with Christ in you, you can bring America here, and you can bring, you can bring uh, Philippines there. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just like sitting very close from each other, not being careful of the distance, so social distancing. <laughs> because you understand that you are no longer separated, you are one. And the last one for marriage, marriage is companionship, not for convenience. This is companionship. Have you picture yourself as a as an 80 year old man gray oh no no not not, not gray hair because you don't you don't have you do not have any <laughs> an, an old 80 or 90 year old man can you imagine yourself still sitting in a in a 70 year old lady <laughs> So growing old together. That is that is the commitment. That is the choice. So the two the, the choice starts right now. Timer starts now. <laughs> but but before I would turn on the, 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 the timers, you can you can you can retract and you can you can <laughs> you can back up and back out. Now for this we will we will listen a song. Uh, it's 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 good. You're you're blessed with sponsors who can also sing. And we have sing because because uh, because uh, um, wedding should be a joyful one, should be a holy one, uh, should be a victorious one, should be Excuse full me. of love and full of uh, the presence of the Lord. <laughs>
would lead us in every de- decision that we are go- going to make. That's why I told you beforehand that you can back off and back out. But after saying this, there's no return. There is no point of this. It's a journey of no return. So I would like for you to please stand up and the principal sponsors because you will be you will serve as the um, witnesses this marriage vows that this couple will be taking daniel did you come here freely and without reservations to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife evangeline yes i have do you commit evangeline as your wife as your own flesh to commit yourself to her happiness and faithfulness as a person and her usefulness in God's kingdom and to love her even as Christ loves the church and to protect her and care and care for her the rest of your life. I do. A very big idol with the with the tantalizing eyes towards one only per, one, towards only one person. 
Eventually, did you come here freely and without any reservations to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband, Daniel? Yes, I do. Hello. Do you com commit Daniel as your husband to commit yourself to his happiness and his fulfillment as a person and to his usefulness in God's kingdom to love, honor, trust, and serve him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, to be true and faithful to him, submitting yourself to him as unto the Lord, showing reverence to him as the head of this union for the rest of your lives. I do. Have, have you noticed your, your vow is longer because, <laughs> yeah. because of the... 25,000. <laughs> Daniel and Evangeline should know that as you exchange your vows of love, henceforth your destiny shall be woven into a single tapestry in which your periods and joy shall be intertwined to one another. Okay? So once you are inter intertwined already, no thinking of your ex and your future, it should be both of you. So will you join your right hands I made of honor Palio. I Daniel Owen Belk take you Evangeline to be my wedded wife you are more than just a woman to be loved you are God's precious gift to be treasured in my heart with deepest joy, I receive you into my life, that together we may be one. As is Christ to his body, the church, so I will be to you a loving and faithful husband. Always will I perform my headship over you, even as Christ does over me, knowing that his lordship is one of the holiest desires of my life. I promise you my deepest love, my fullest devotion, my tender care. I promise I will live first unto God rather than others or even you. I promise that I will lead our lives into a life of faith and hope in Jesus Christ forever. Ever honoring God's guidance by his spirit. Through the word and so throughout life, no matter what may lie ahead of us, I pledge to you my life as a loving and faithful husband. Wow, let's, 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 let's give Daniel a round of applause, please. He deserved that. So the 10,000 is has been sub subtracted with few, few, few words. And uh, Evangelina has her vow also for Daniel. So listen very car okay. carefully. <laughs> I, Evangeline, take you, Daniel Owen, to be my wedded husband. I cannot imagine of a great g gift in life that I could, have in I could have in you other than God. You are a treasure given by God to me. With deepest joy, I thank God that you come into my life. As you have pledged to me your life and love, so I too happily give you my life, and in confidence submit myself to your headship as to the Lord. As is the church in your relationship to Christ, so I will be to you. Daniel Owen, I will live first unto our God and then unto you, loving you, obeying you, caring for you, and ever seeking to please you. God has prepared me for you, and so I will ever strengthen, help, comfort, and encourage you. Therefore, throughout life, no matter what may be ahead of us, I pledge to you my life as an obedient and faithful wife. Wow, ito pagpaka si Vanzi. <laughs> the ring, the wedding ring is a symbol of at least three ways. One is being a gold. Uh, this is the engagement ring. And this is a, a golden, white, white gold. So, gold symbolizes the purity of your love for each other. 
And it is being circled, and an ending circle that symbolizes the unending vows that you have for each other. It has no beginning and no end, which symbolizes the love that you have for each other and the love of Jesus Christ for both of you. The ring also stands for the strength and authority, and it seals the covenant of love which may be broken honorably in the sight of God only by death. And the third symbolism for this ring, it will serve as your remembrance. Uh, wherever you go, you are wearing the ring that your spouse is giving you. This is the bigger one. And this is, this is bungee, bungees, but obviously this is not for her fingers. This is not the bracelet of bungee, but this is for you. The small one is yours, but it is too small for your, your fingers because you purposely prepare this for Vanji. Yeah, that, that you will wear this and show this to the rest of the single guys outside there. <laughs> uh, hey, I am owned by somebody already. Big guy. <laughs> Can punch you good enough. But this is the ring that uh, um, you give to Banji. That is your ring also. Oh, I love you, dear. Say, I love you, na lang. Di na lang tama gusto ba sobrang basa kay. Love ya. Six hundred sonod na ng basa na may I love you. Mas mas. Hold on, Jimmy. Okay, so um, do you have do you have do your Bible? Yes. The Bible is the Word of God, living and active. Sharper than any double-edged sword. It is powerful word. Can change life. Can, can bring you into a direction that God would have for you. And um, Jesus said, "Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out from the mouth of God." Have the word of God be the foundation of every and the guide of every decision that you are going to make. The word of God. In every difficult times, uh, find the word of God to guide you. And this, these coins, this coin symbolizes God's loving concern for your physical well-being. It should remind you both that every good and perfect gift comes from God. And your material possessions are a trust from God, and it should remind you that you are just steward of God to use His blessings according to His will. So God will be giving you this initial uh, financial blessing. How much is that? Can you travel the world <laughs> with that? But, uh, that, that? That is just a start up on how God will uh, be faithfully providing your needs. When you travel or when you want uh, something you need money and God owns everything God is a great supplier we, we, you, we trusted God when you were single and God never failed us how much more that God would have to bless you uh, right now so um, this is the Bible submit your lives in the word of God that is powerful word. Now, uh, sponsors, you can take your seats ready and parents. Thank you. And uh, this is your certificate. This is your marriage certificate. And before we call this marriage contract, but contract is not does not fit the commitment and the choice that you have because you want to grow old. Contract has limits, and you can you can breach the contract if if the other party would fail to 
uh, to do what is stated in the contract, it is null and void already. But this is a certificate. Certificate doesn't have an expiration date. So uh, your, your documents doesn't have a limit because you said to your heart that uh, with God at the center of you, you will be loving for each other uh, for a lifetime. Okay, so um, can you just take your seats? And maybe this is a song for this. While, while this, this document will be signed, we can hear uh, a message from the song. and is often used and every ceremony it will be done over 
the shoulder of the groom and it symbolizes the delegated authority that God has given you as the head of that union. And it will be done over the head of the bride. And it symbolizes your submission to your husband as the head of the family. And both of you is now being covered by God's protection and God's provision and by God's loving care. That is, that is just an embrace of God for both of you. And the cord is like your wedding ring. It is a form of a circle. And when the Bible said a three-stranded cord is not quickly broken, because no, normally before in ancient times the the string or cord or the rope is just with two strands, and they found it out that adding another strand locks and strengthens the strand, and that is your cord. A three-stranded cord is not easily broken. So uh, it symbolizes um, the, the, the three of you there in that marriage. The husband, the wife, and who, who, who do you want to be the, the other person in, in that relationship? Jesus Christ. So a perfect triangle should be present there. Okay, so now you are tied with the love of God and the... And the covenant that uh, for life you will be blessed by God's love. Do uh, you have all do you have your sponsors? They are pastors and they can release that blessing to you. So uh, I, I request all those principal sponsors and parents to come. Yeah. Do how many silkabok nga puro pastor di magbahin mo magtunga mo. Kamu makahatag mo sa inyong blessing. Because uh, as, I was, as what I have said, wedding is a blessing. Releasing a blessing. They are not just here just to wear their nicest barong and uh, nicest attire. But they are here um, with heavy load of God's anointing and blessing. And they are sharing that with you. You're going to take all from them. You just, you just, you just take some. <laughs> just... Father, we thank you for this time and opportunity that you have yeah. given us yeah. and allow us, Lord God, to lay our hands this yeah. uh, couple, oh God. Thank you, Jesus, for bi binding them, Lord God, yeah. with your yeah. love, Father. We ask you, Lord, to bless them, Father, yeah. in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen yeah. and amen. Yeah. Once again, Father, we thank you, God, for your blessing in this time, Lord, that you are the only one who can bind Pastor Ravanti and yes, Pastor Dan, O oh God. You, God. And we are so honored and privileged to witness this time. We are uh, praying, O oh God, and declaring blessing upon them, O oh God. Amen. Peace, Lord, good health, O oh God, unity, union always, O oh God, in every decision that we are going to make. Yes. Lord, we pray for the coming years, for the coming months, O oh God, days in their life, that they will be full of your blessings, O oh God. Yes. Blessings and multiplication will be upon them, Lord. Yes. Cover yes. them and protect them by your precious blood. Surround them by your thousands of angels, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hi, the... The... Cord and veil sponsors can now undone and take the cord and veil off. Since Daniel Oin and Evangeline have made this commitment before God and before these witnesses. I, by the authority vested in me by the Republic of the Philippines and as a minister of the Philippines General Council of the Assemblies of God, I, Reverend Dante Portes, pronounce you husband and wife, I mean, and us with, with your sponsors and parents, we join with our faith venturing on God's blessing upon you this marriage and we pray for more fruitful years together. The Lord 
bless you and keep you, Daniel and Evangeline. The Lord will shine his countenance upon you and give you peace. The Lord will mercifully with his favor look upon you and fill you with all spiritual benediction and grace in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And God's people said, Amen. Amen. I would like for you to please stand. And uh, it is my pleasure to announce and present to you the newlywed, Mr. Daniel Oyn and Mrs. Evangeline Bock. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Daniel Owen and Mrs. Evangeline Bock. What's the pleasure of the less than 10 people that are... Uh, <laughs> the bride. <laughs> okay, you, 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 you spent a lot, you know, with your flight, you stayed here. <laughs> and I, I do not know if you rehearsed. But if you did, that was wrong. <laughs> you have to clear that, that up with, with the Lord who, who is the source of blessing. Because if there is, <laughs> there is something that will you know, stop the blessing of the Lord flowing upon you, it cannot go somewhere. It will, the blessing of the Lord will just go a short time. But if you clean it up with, with God at the center, with grace, uh, God will be even more, there will be even more kisses in the future. In, in the future, beginning today. So this is the first, this is the first holy kiss that you'll be doing. Uh, yeah, you have to give your best shot because you'll be. Can can you imagine? This is holy because you are you are kissing each other in the front of the pastors. That that is something. People are hiding from us when they kiss each other. They hide, but now you're hiding at our front before us you're 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 kissing but uh that kiss is blessed by god so you better give your best shot you can now open you can now open what is being closed there daniel <laughs> ladies and gentlemen the first kiss of uh, daniel and vangelin box <laughs> so, that, that is best. <laughs> that is best. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did, did you know that all her makeup transferred to your face? <laughs> okay. <thank you. laughs> now, parents of Evangeline, let me uh, present to you Evangeline and Oin. And principal sponsors, Pastor Noel Kasipong and the wife, and Pastor Mueller Granson and the wife. Uh, God, God bless for uh, your presence and your blessing here. And let me present also to you, uh, So I would like for you to arise. So uh, include them in your prayers, always. Uh, it is not a guarantee that uh, it is done. Uh, in a Christian wedding, it is not a guarantee that there will not be a future adjustment. There would be, but it will be our connection with its other and our connection, our closeness with the Lord. It will, it will flatten the curve. <laughs> it, will flat, it will flatten the curve. Do not, do not exercise distance, social distancing with both of you. Get, get closer and closer. <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Once again, Mr. Daniel Owen and uh, Mrs. Evangeline Bolt. Appreciation and gratitude. Thank you for the blessing of bringing Bungie and Daniel together in marriage today. We ask you to bless their marriage, their family, and all of their relationships. Help them stay strong in any adversity and to treasure and protect the joy of marriage. May we, as their friends and their family, to make a home and encourage them to the best of our ability. Lord, bless this food we are about to receive, and let this reception be an honor to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay. You can sit 
the head. Is that the symbolized sweetness? Yeah. The sweetness of the world. So uh, it's okay to be uh, to have plenty of sugar in your relationship. It's okay to be uh, loving in your you will take your sweet, so you have to, you have to slice the cake and you have to feed each other. So, so we have a feeding program here. We are in the outside area and we are having a feeding program. And then you have the slice. We just get one layer. Very well. Hello. 